policy. That's right. I don't know. That, uh, him and David together, they just make trouble. Oh, there they are. Huh? Um, we are on that. Uh, um, you don't base. You don't. You don't have a base. You don't have a base. Yeah. The third line. Yeah, you don't have a base. Okay, I'm a noodle around. Now, this interesting thing. Uh, it's uh, too bad. Other people are missing it tonight. If you put something in Kherim, Haramim are relative. In other words, they're, they're like concentric circles. So that's what I want to discuss here. Hamanuta Lorab, if the Rebbe puts somebody in Kherim, the Lotalmi, the students must observe the Kherim placed by the Rebbe. Okay? Hamanuta uh, Lotalmi, however, the Talmi puts somebody in Kherim, and a menu de la then the Rebbe does not deserve that hair. So it's like, again, as I say, you know, they're gradations. A menu de la based in, if somebody is put, if somebody is made a menu de by the person who's in charge of the rabbinical court, then a menu de la chacham, then the per chacham was one level down, also has to absorb the hair, observe the hair. The chacham is like a rough. A menu de la chacham, somebody was menu de in the hair to the rabbi, to the rough, and a menu de la based is not. Uh, a, a uh, in Cherem to the head of the court of the town or of, of Amisro. Similarly, Menuda la be, uh, 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 men, uh, Menuda Lenasi, Menuda la Kolada. If the Nasi, however, puts some in Cherem, which is the highest majority above and out based in, they is Menuda for everybody, everybody must absorb the, the Nidui. Ad Kadu Chacham Shanida. This till now we're talking about Chacham who put the people in Nidui. What about people who chacham shnida? What about a chaver shnida? What about it's just a chaver, a regular guy who puts somebody else in cheder? So says the Gemara. Let's find the shmini min Let's hear it from here. Chada amon min the bar pata. A certain maid servant of the patel named bar pata have us have us have us over kumi chada kenusha. She was passed from one one school. Chamas chad sapar. She saw one teacher machi lechad min yanuk. Hitting one of his students, Yosem Mitzur came more than was necessary. Amr Lay, so she said, Yehevi Hau Gabra Muchram. Let that person, the teacher, be in Kherim for hitting more than was necessary. Now, it's interesting, the Bavli, it, 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 see, this is a similar story it's brought up, but they're talking about an adult, a beating up an adult. And that's why they put in Kherim, because it was an adult hitting an adult. Uh, it's actually, I think, a father hitting his adult son, which is in the put in Kherim, because it's putting his son in danger of striking back. Of course, son strikes back. It's a heinous crime. But here, it's, a, it's talking about a child, and the re- reason why that the person was put in the chamber is because the teacher should not hit overly much more than is necessary. Okay. So, what? Question. No, it's just that it was more prevalent. Oh. Say more prevalent. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It was. It was. This is a maid servant. The maid servant is putting him in chirim, right? That's the Right, no, that's the one that's bringing it down. That's the one that's bringing it. So it says Gemara, uh, Asu Shol Rabbi Acha. So the teacher went and asked Rabbi Acha, do I have to pay attention to this maid servant to put him in chirim? Our Malaysia said, yeah. So I had chashash on You have to be concerned about your soul. And you have to be assuming you're in chirim. And in fact, if the the, the recording says in here, we learn that if there's a valid reason, anybody can put anybody in here. Doesn't necessarily have to be your medical authority, any uh, any person. Okay. So it says the Gemara, Hada uh, Amara. Actually, it's not carbon eight. I'm getting confused. It's actually the far here. Gemara says Hada uh, Amara teaches us how to do it. So we don't say need to it improper. Has to be put in here. The Karmenia says anybody can put in a cherim, but you see that anybody that does it proper should be put in a cherim. Okay? Rav Shem and Lakish have a mind, and this is a cool case. <laughs> Very cool. Rav Shem and Lakish have a mind, a tainin. Rav Shem and Lakish is guarding fakes. The barbarous, in a place called barbarous. Asoli style, so bandits came, confirmated, and they stole the, 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 the fakes. Bilali on the night. But with so far, at the end, Argish bone, Rish Lakish, her, uh, the sense that they were there, and he started fleeing after, pursuing them. I'm alone, so he said to them, Leheven Elaine, I'm a Mukhrami. Let this nation, meaning the thieves, be in Kherim. 
Amrle, so they said pack the thieves who were fleeing from him. They say uh, said, Yay, the Ugar Mukram, you should be a khairim. So Raish Lokish Khashal Nafshah shows the faith himself. Amar he said they might have a point. Mamon inan chayavin li. They owe me money because they stole my money. Dilma nafshon. Do they owe me their lives? This is a capital crime to steal. And putting some in chayim is considered to be a very severe measure, almost akin to killing him because you're ostracizing him from society. So maybe they're right that I was not. I did not do the right thing because the punishment or the uh, the penalty I intended to have me down on them did not fit their crime. So so says the Gemara. Uh, uh, um, uh, so he continued running after them, or I guess maybe didn't run after them till now, he just announced the and now he started running after them. Amalone, he said to them, surely, <laughs> take, away, take off my hair. So he asked the bandits to take off the hair they put him in. Amalone, so they said, Amalone, surely, so he said, you will allow us out of our hair, and then and then we'll allow you out of your hair. But it doesn't say they're going to give back the money. <laughs> they just want to be out of hair, right? So it says the Gemara, Adamra teaches us, Hamanadis Misha Eino Tsarich. Some of you puts the chem, some of you doesn't need chem because his sin is not that severe. We need also, and that person in turn puts the first, impose a counter chem on the first guy. So in the Duyo Nidoi, the counter chem is a valid chem. Interestingly, that's because the Shalom is concerned. So it says, Rami Matu. If that's the case, let's say Rish Lakish had not had a cut up to the people, right? Who would have uh, absolved him from the chayr, right? The, the bandits are gone. Lo kain tani, didn't we learn? In meis echo mi magan, so this is actually answered. Lo kain tani, didn't we learn? Meis echo mi manadam. If some, one of the people putting in the chayr died, a matirin, so lo, you can't, he can't get out of the chayr. Rish Lakish argues, that you say it's true. nasi. If there is no nasi, nasi. If there's a nasi, a leader of the generation, a nasi matir. So too, if you would not be able to catch the bandits, the shlokish should have got to the nasi to permit his chayim. Okay, to absolve him from it. Rabbi Yaakov Rachman Sheir Rabbi said along these lines. Maisa be'echad. There's a maisa individual. Shemais echad in nado. The one who people put him b'cherem died. V'loy kirlo before they um, dissolved the cherem against him. And v'lo kenam um, b'shuv and levi. Tzim b'shuv and levi said, "Hadadat Omar." Didn't that? Didn't you say that that's only problem? The Vishen Shem Nasi, when there's no Nasi, when there's no uh, leader of Yeshem Nasi, a Nasi Mati, the Nasi permits it, so why didn't they have Nasi allowed here? The Kamas, and they, they explained that because the, they said, the the Ma the Amar, Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Bashem, Rabbi Ba, that which Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Ba said in the name of Rabbi Ba, that, um, they did, they, they, they did not permit it, is because, uh, is because he didn't renege on what the, the wrong behavior was. It's an interesting concept. If the guy, what well, the way the Gemara is coming out is, if the guy was put in cherem, reneges on his wrong behavior, then somebody else could be matir cherem, not just the original people. Okay, if they're not around anymore, then the leader of the generation can dissolve the cherem. But if the guy did not do proper tshuva, uh, so then of course somebody else can dissolve the cherem. But even so, the people who originally placed the ban on the individual, they can dissolve it. Because they can say, well, it wasn't effective, we'll take it off. It's other people who need proof that he actually abandoned the behavior that caused the in the first place before they can take off the harem. But those self-same people initially opposed could take it off on a whim at any time they want. Okay? Getting back to my topic. Yes. Uh, wasn't his harem on a higher level than the bandits? Yeah, but he... he they don't erase them, though. No, no but more people would be uh, obligated to observe the harem against the bandit. True. Than the but he didn't want to be in the harem, period. Even though it's from a low life. Right. He felt that was a shortcoming that you wanted to avoid. I also think it's ironic that he was involved in the bandit. Yeah, somebody actually brings it up. Somebody actually brings it up here. But, 
I wasn't, I wasn't sure exactly what the connection was, but somebody does bring it up. Okay, so says Gemara, uh, Rabbi, uh, so Rabbi Yaakov Bar Abai, Mishum B'Shem Rabbi Shesha said, Nimnu Busha, they made, took a vote in Usha and they decided, Shalom and not a Zaki, we never put an elder in Khair. Says the Gemara, Vasik Kad Amar Shmuel, that's like Shmuel said, Adam Rab Shmuel, B'Shem Revo, Zaki, Shirabo Dabar, if an old man, something bad happened to him and he forgot what he learned, Amri knows something to do so you do not take him down from his exalted position. El Amrim lo, we say to him, he kabeid, be honored, but Meshav Vesech, stay home. <laughs> You're under house arrest. Don't come to the base matters. Uh, Rav Yaakov, Rav Yaakov, Rav Yaakov said, Zokin, Shushara Tamudo, an old man forgot his learning, Machmas Onto, because of uh, a circumstance beyond his control. No, you both Kedusha Sorrow, he applied in the Kedusha of the R in the base of of course. Besides Luchos themselves, there was a Shivre Luchos, the broken piece of Luchos underneath as well. Okay, so he's like the Shivre Luchos, where the Ushara the Babli puts it. Rav Acha and Rav Yachon, Rav Yitanachon, Rav Yachon, Rav Yachon, Rav Yachon said, Zakin Shanita Lutzor Chatzmo. If a Zakin, an elder, put somebody in the Kherim for his own purposes, Apil Kalocha, even if he did it properly, it's not valid because people are going to say he did it, you know, improperly. Um, um, in the days of Rabbi Yirmiya, Asa Akash, a bad thing, it doesn't say exactly what, but happened to Tiberia. Shach Bari Menarit to the Kaspa. So he went and he sent a message that he wanted a, a silver plated menorah. I don't know, silver plated. A silver menorah. Gabi Raka Rabbi Yaakov Barbun, which Rabbi Yaakov Barbun had to give as, as um, a, a, a bride. Um, to the uh, to the Romans or wherever it was, so it says the Gemara. Rabbi Yaakov Rabun responded, "Shalach Amar Leiv." He sent back the message, "Adayim lo shav yirmi yom yirmi yom mi So yirmi yom has not not yet done juva on his evil plot to give things over to the guy. So it says the Gemara, "Yirmi Yom got upset." Ubikeshen uh, adoso. Uh, so Rabbi Yirmi wanted to put him in 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 Nidu in Cher. Vav Rabbi Chia Bereder Rabbi Yitzchok Atushia Rabbi Chia the son of Rabbi Yitzchok Atushia Tiosif Tama was sitting there. Armalei so he said Shamati I heard she emanat him zokin when does not put put, put a zokin in Nidu and like it also can you Rava Ben Nevat Chaver unless you cause people to sin sin and cause people to sin like Rava Ben Nevat and the other kings of the northern kingdom of Israel. So it says, Amalei. Uh, so he says that can't be, because it said we learned yesterday, Dakmo Yishkua, that a Kavim Miles got in trouble for mocking a uh, Shmaya uh, Avtolian and saying that they drank, uh, that she drank the same the same way that they were, because they were from Gerim. So it says the Gemara, Vichuyovim ben Nevat Chaviravas. So these people uh, uh, did not do like Rav and Ben Nevat, all the shortcomings that you learned before to sin and cause others to sin. So, so, so it, it, it must be that, um, um, therefore, not these people, Rabbi Yirmiyah. In other words, Rabbi Rabbi here, Rabbi, Rabbi Yitzhak was saying. Um, I want to put um, Rabbi Yirmiyah in here for having demanded my best, you know, utensils to pay off the Romans. You want to put Rabbi Yirmiyah in here for doing that, right? And right, then the response was to him that even the Rabbi, though he did it, Rabbi Yirmiyah, he's still not as bad as Yerubam, so I can put him in the harem, right? It says you have to be bad like Yerubam. You already put him in the harem. So it says the Gemara, Venidon Elain le Elain, they discussed this back and forth. The Chashin Elain al Elain, and each person was was, was taken to the the other person's approach. With Tzricha Mashriyas le Elain Elain, therefore they needed to get from uh, not not to get. So they they needed to um, be matir neder on each other, matir the chayim. I'm, I'm not telling you the story properly. Yeah, okay. Let me tell it to you outside. Rabbi, the tax people came to Tzricha. Rabbi Yirmiyah said to Rabbi Yaakov Arpun who had an expensive menorah, send him menorah so he can pay off the tax collectors. 
Rabbi Yaakov said, said that's Rabbi Yaakov, was it? Yeah. Rabbi Yaakov said, Achutzbe. You know, he's asking me to pay off his loan, he should be in his debt, he should be in Chayim. So they tried to reason with him. They said, wait, you're not Menad the Zokin El Zorach. You're not the Zokin if it's necessary. And then with the, the, the definition of that is, if he's Chote Machli like Yerava, first king of the Northern Kingdom. And, and Rabbi Yirmi is not that bad. Right? Right. Right. So the bottom line is that they both were not each other, and they both were not. They, they both were not. They both uh, were at strife with each other, and they each had to be mimati or the cherem by each other, and so then they happily lived ever after. Doesn't study. Okay. Says a mutar. This story about people who get to shave on cholamoy. Some of you ask a. a uh, Chacham to Yimatir's nether, he had a nether not to shave, or and he got it this nether mutar and cholamoy. So says my Raman and Kliyam. What are you talking about? Inkshin you shall call them a regal. If he got if he asked and got that third before you have to begin, regal he shouldn't be able to 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 uh, to uh, shave on Yontif, right? Should shave before Yontif, right? In b'shuloni shall call them a regal. If he didn't ask on time before Yontif, so then. How you got there? Tough. Let him do You should have asked. Ella, can I tell you what you're talking about? Because the Shanish shall call him a regal. It's talking about an individual who 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 tried to find a heter for his his uh, for his nether before you have to begin. The lomatzo, lomatzo petach of Rizmanijor. He didn't find a pesach an opening. He matched his nether. Ella, a regal until they got actually into Yontif. That's why then he can be matched his nether. I don't like the following case. Rabbi Shimon Berebi. Rabbi Shimon son of Rebbe. Lo matzo pesach l'nidro. He did not find a pesach for his nether. And atche boach ha-mizigne ha-golem. So the elders of the galley came down. He started to say, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar havas. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Rabbi Nasi v'le min hocha l'moko hocha. Min hocha u mezik le hocha. So Shem and Lazar took, who was this again? Rabbi Shem Berebi. He made him walk outside from place to place. He left him standing in the sun, the following money, checking his clothing for lights. Those two things are not necessarily related. Anyway, to make a long story, for Lord's story short, Amalek said, so Rabbi Shem and Lazar said, uh, Rabbi Shem and Lazar said, So you see that the laws are set. Ilu um, uh, a there. Were you to know that he and Saba, that this old man, Avalach Achein, does this to you? In other words, make you walk back and forth. Neither have so. Would you have taken the netter? Amalon so he said, uh, "Lo, certainly not. <laughs> I would not have anticipated having walk back and forth. Right? And that's a pesach there for it's an opening his netter." So at that point, um, uh, 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 they were matter nether. Um, I'm going to ask So he said no. Vishorin lay there, matter nether for him. Vilei Samara, Vilei Amarin. Uh, and they said to uh, Rabbi Shimon Lazar, "How do we know? Look, how do you know this process being mater neder?" Armelon so he said, "Mishai Yisrael Meir Yizi, I serve Rabbi Meir Bevarcho Shanim." When he fled several years to Chutzlarts, the Yishmim some say he said even more strenuous statement or more adamant statement. The Yishmim Machlosh Rabbi Meir I said, "Yado." He he was holding uh, to on to the staff Rabbi Meir. The Yishmim La Medas La Madaso Das. And which will teach him wisdom. We teach you, I forgot. One of these sages.
I get to be the Shem ben Elazar. All right, many men. Tani, let's go back to the to the Brisa, uh, to the mission. Kol Eilu Shalom Yeah. Why does he have to be Machmed around one of you? Now that he was an editor, which he needed right now. Yeah, but if he couldn't have this up until Yom why does he have an ownership? We don't know if the net was our pace, it could have been something else altogether. Just the net which fell due, in other words, he wanted to actually get rid of it on. Uh, yeah, but uh, if you couldn't do it before you got to start, then you have yeah. to wait until later. It's not like uh, you got to out of the Sarah. No, Yotub is not like that. I mean, Chomo is not like that. That's, uh, that. that is the answer, obviously. Chomo is not like that. Yes, yes. So, okay. Says more. Um, does anybody have uh, 20 cents? Minnesota. Yeah. Anybody have a 20 cents? Mm-hmm. I have a quarter. Yeah, so, the most... That was going to be right. So, he said that... Um, or, uh, Shimon Elazar said... That, uh, that he learned from a mayor that this type of Pesach exists. Now, really, this type of Pesach is a very big chiddush because it's not inherent in the netter itself. I really should point this out. The netter itself, we don't know exactly what it was Shimbu Rebbe's netter. It was obviously a netter which he needed to be Matan or Cholomoy. But in any event, the netter itself didn't have a Pesach. It was a Shimbu Rebbe's thing that he had left an iron clad. He wanted the netter to, to devolve no matter what. Right? And therefore, nobody else could find a Pesach. So lucky it was Shimon the Lazar, and he posed an artificial Pesach. By having him walk back and forth and back and forth in the sun, and have to stand that way and get tired, hot, and annoyed. And he said, were you to have known that I would have done this to you, would you have taken the nether? And of course he says no, and that's the Pesach. But that's an extrinsic Pesach, not an intrinsic Pesach. Right. right. Well, the, uh, and that's why I asked him, how do you know this world? <laughs> right, that's what he said, and I don't know how we passed him that way. I assume so, but he says that, that he learned that for every mayor. That there's this aid so to come from the outside of the letter and create an extrinsic test up, even though intrinsically it doesn't work. Okay, that was... I don't remember having it done, no. I don't think so. I think it's very big hitters. Yeah, sure. I've heard before, it's, uh, that extra new I don't remember seeing it ever before. Not this case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's if you would have known, but those are usually things which are inherent the netter. For example, oh. I took a netter to go to the mikvah every Friday, right? Mm-hmm. But then I find out the mikvah is too cold in the winter. Okay. So that's an inherent pesach. Oh, that's not an extrinsic pesach. Like I made you walk around because you took the netter around the block. Right. Okay. All right, now we switch topics. Connie, call you Shomru Magalchim Avoid. All those people they said. We're switching topics. We're going further. We're switching topics. We're going back to mission. Connie, call you Shomru Magalchim Avoid. Everybody that says loud to shame a Columboy. We're trying to go to Shloshim Yom Shil Avo. They're allowed to shave during Shloshim of Avelus. During the first three days of Avelus. East Tani Tani, no, it's not so simple. <laughs> He's tiny, tiny, also those who said it's awesome. He's tiny, tiny, mutter, those who said it's mutter. In fact, we passed it's awesome. And the reasons you have to shave on during, during the, the uh, uh, um, of, um, during Chalmoy are less, uh, less, how should I put it, are more readily acceptable than the reasons to shave during Shloshi. In other words, people can, more people are allowed to shave during Chalmoy, they're allowed to shave during the Shloshim. Okay? This is not Shloshim interrupted by the No, we're going to get that later on. It's not Shloshim interrupted by So, so that's why... Amra Christo, he said, Manda Marmutra, even he who said you're allowed to shave during Shloshim, but she ate some regal. So when there's a... You have to be interrupting the Shloshim. Otherwise not. What, is this you had one of these? Uh, yeah. Which one? Uh, 
No, so you had Yom Kippur stop Shiva. Shiva and stops lotion. Right. So then you're allowed to take a haircut before, just before Sukkot, right? The shave. Yeah, you'll have to shave just before Sukkot. So that's what we're talking about here. So even the leniency is only if there's a yog that he says, okay? Madamar also be shaved from regal. If there is no uh, regal, they are not allowed to shave during Shloshin. Masnisa, now it should be Messiah, not Pligal, but Messiah. The following Mishnah is approved to Rav Chista. It says, If a person, Rachman Litzlan, he has two Avelas back to back, first his father, then his mother, let's say. So then in that case, Harez and Mekel Besakim, between the two Avelas, one is allowed to, to, to um, you know, kind of trim one's hair, not cut it. Besakim with the knife and spares and a razor, have one misbride, but now with the scissors, which is true cutting. So I ask, Gemara, if this was incorrect, that, uh, and anything, uh, uh, things other than Regolim, Interrupt Yom Tzayvim. So the Asa Evil Asheni Eitz Arisha Kamishu Onus. Let the first, the second Evil be vis-a-vis the first one, like an uh, like an Onus, like you know, like an act of God. You go lech, let it be allowed to shave in between the right way, the normal way, with the with the scissors. And so have a lawyer's arm and some they cover our radio. So must be they only get to shave during Shloshim if Yom Tzayvim interrupts. And not in any other kind of bonus, not any kind of other other kind of reason. Rashuah Yitzuk by Rashuah Yitzuk by Ask Nicha B'Tel Shiva. I understand drink Shiva, but the soul Shloshim is it is it even within Shloshim he's not allowed to shave when one avilus occurs right after the other quick succession. He can't shave in the middle. Hey, so Chinah Chavrun the Rabbah and Rabbi Chinah the friend of the Rabbis asked. But I do we learn Elvrim Shabbos Servam Kol Shiva. It says it says these are things which are forbidden to all seven days. So Imato Shlo Shiva Wasser. But you just said he's lost or dreaming during Shlo Shiva. So Imato Shlo Shiva Wasser. So Shiva Loko Lokochkin. But so Shlo Shiva certainly also drink Shiva. So what's the Kiddush by Shiva? So Loy Samar Sel Shatakvu Avelim. So it must be that is the way the Rebaz looks. He says that since these two brights and say there's a two or one. It's one bright. Elvar and Shrava Suman called Shiva. So it says the Alvas were written all seven days. So it must be that there's a differential between the seven days and the thirty days. What could the difference be? So the difference must be we will talking about haircuts. So what must the difference be? So the difference must be um, that uh, the difference must be that um, we'll just say I haven't written down as far as my word, but now I'm confused about it. One second. Let me go back a couple of lines. Just get a flying start at this. Let me go back to the line which ends of Shmuel Bar, about uh, ten lines at the bottom of the page. So Shmuel Yitz a boy asked question. Nicham tok Shiva. I understand within Shiva. So even if your avilus come back to back, so then you can't really shave in the middle. But the tok if it's within thirty, if it's if it's within thirty days, not within seven days, 
Why can't the shayev shave when they come back to back? And hey, Steve, Rabbi Hanina Chavit, the Rabbana Paolo question, but I even learned, Elvam Sha'avel, Osurbam Kol Shiva. Says, these are things that are always forbidden all seven days. So, in the so chlamid waser, so if it's forbidden within all, the, all 30 days, the so shiva kol koshki is not something to do about shiva. Lo is amas el bishot tochvu avelim. So, therefore, that, um, uh, it must be, I'm gonna still look at it. I don't understand. If, if you're told the first 30 days, yeah. So how could you even entertain the possibility of shaving, especially if you came out early on? Because it's too much tired to go through it. Yeah, but it's the first 30 days anyway, so it'll be extended. Right. right. I guess that's a problem. It's extended. Whatever it's extended, it'll be up to 60 days. Yeah. So that's it's bothering you. 60, 30. It doesn't overlap the second second. It's it's the third, the second social overlap, the third social. I don't know. I think it goes the second word. Um, so maximum would be six days, but minimum would be thirty-one days. Mm-hmm. Let's try one more time. See, maybe this will work. So, say, let's go back again. The Gemara said that Rav Chitzin said if your Avelos come one after another, that you can. Uh, the, the mission, the, there's a mission goes to Rav Chitzin which says your Avelos come one after another. You can trim a little bit in the middle with a shinui. So now the Gemara asks, uh, going back about six lines, Viasa Eitzel Avel Hashani Eitzel Rishon Kamoshu Onus Bigalech. Let the second Avelus be, be like Onus by the first one and interrupts it and you should be allowed to shave. Heavy lawyers have a son called Regus, it's not allowed to shave the, the, the direct fashion, must it's only mutted to shave because of covered Regal, not because of some other compelling reason. Or Shuri Itzuk by or Shuri Itzuk has, Nihil Besol Zain, I understand during the, the seven days. Let's try like this. Neo Basil I answer entering the seven days need some compelling reason to shave Basil Klamet, but within the thirty days, why need such a compelling reason? It's not so severe anymore. Hey, sir, I've been Chavun Rabban, or I've been Chadir, friend of the rabbi says, but I didn't learn. El Dwai Shavel, a sword by Uncle Shiva. These things that I was now do all seven days. So, and one of them is to be shaved. Even so, Shlamid was her. Even now, the even shaved during 30 to 30 days, who calls Zion called Koshke. We're certainly not allowed to shave during the seven, the seven days of Shiva. So it says, Mora, so Loi Samus Elk Shetachu Avelin. It obviously is only true that, uh, Yeah. In the thirty, the, the thirty days. 
The tooth is greater than the so on. Right? The so sign, it doesn't. Yeah. It's only 14 days maximum. Um. I got it. Okay. One, one more second. Okay, this is a question. It's a chida chafundu rabbonim. Going back three lines. But if I didn't even learn Eil Dvarim Shavu Asur Ben Kol Shiva, these are things not as also all seven days. Im Mitzoch Shiva, if it's also seven days, Im Mitzoch Lamedu Asur. If cutting hair is also all thirty days, Asur Mitzoch Shiva Lo Kol Shkain is it certainly also within seven days. So it must be since we stress seven days. And not 30 days vis-a-vis haircuts. It must be that 30 days is more lenient vis-a-vis haircuts than 7 days. Because he said it, haircuts are also all 7 days. But they're also also 30 days. So it must be some leniency in the 30 over the 7. What's the leniency in 30 over 7? So that more says, When your avelis coincide. In other words, when you have one avelis going into another one, of shloshim, not of the 7 days. So then you're allowed to trim your hair in the middle. So we, because of the tirch. So that we see that uh, that even uh, in, uh, we see not like Rabbi Chani who Chista said before. Rabbi Chista said you're only allowed to do it with a shinui, right? But we're saying that during, it doesn't sound that way. You're only allowed to do it with a shinui because it says uh, obviously it's telling us that there's something about shloshim which is not also during shiva, right? That, which is so in Mutzar actually, which is also during Shiva. So what must be? It must be that a case where you have a this come in succession that during Shiva you're not allowed to to to, uh, to shave in the middle, but when it's uh, Shloshim you're allowed to shave in the middle. That must be the case. So Adam Rush Shu Mutzar. So says the Gemara, is that in fact the case? And you're passing out with Rav Chista, that's mutter to shave during Shloshim. If you have an onus, a compelling reason to shave, you're allowed to shave the regular way. Our Messiah said, no, man, them are usher kedarko, uh, uh, usher kedarko mismarayim. It's usher to shave, uh, You still have to do the shinui, right? He's basically saying you still have to do the shinui no matter what. In other words, we want to say that it must be you don't have to do the shinui because we're obviously trying to find a distinction between shiva, shiva and shloshim. And it must be the type of haircut you're getting. And then Masani comes along and says, bottom line, no, it's not true. You always have to use a, a shinui if it's in shloshim, even if you have a compelling reason. The only time you don't have to use a shinui if it's Arab Yonta, like our crystal said before. Alright. Sato is an oil allowed to cut his mustache or his nails. Isai Tai Barega Mutter, not just an oil, also an Homoi. Isai Tadu said Barega on Homoi Mutter, Uvavo Osser, but an oil tosser. Isai Tadu said Barega Osser, and a regal tosser, Uvavo Mutter, and oil is allowed to do it. Now says the Ushaw Iman, the Barega Mutter, yes, it's a regal Mutter, Bishayesham Regal, that where it, there's a regal in Isabelus. Who go avil aser when there's a avil tosser? It means she ain't some regal when there's no regal in his avilus. So really, both cases are talking about avilus. If there's a regal in his avilus, he's allowed to cut his mustache and nails. If there's no regal in his avilus, he's not allowed to cut his mustache and his nails. Okay. Oh, 
um, So why just the mustache? Unless they're going back again on the circular rules. No, so it's even I'll tell you what it is. Means even a home way it's allowed to. Then I'm not shaving the mustache hair if you want to. We're talking about shaving the mustache on you want to. On Cholmoy. And normally don't allow shame of Cholmoy. But for this guy who's, who, who was an other talk shloshim, we met the regulars so to shave even Cholmoy. Even though he should have shaved hair if you want to. Yeah. Right. But he could have shaved hair if he didn't. So now it's. Right, and that's what Gemara is about to say in a minute. Okay, I just coordinator really says it. So that's what Gemara says. T- again, let's start from the third line. By East Tiny Tiny, those are say for regal mutter of other loss. On a regal, it's mutter and an avail to saucy. East Tiny Tiny, those say for regal also of other mutter, regal to us or the other, it's mutter and an able of this mutter. Man, my regal mutter, you say it's a regal, it's mutter to take off your mustache or your nails. Bishayesh, regal, it's when it is a young thing. Over Avel also, and then Avel, it's also, it's Bisha Ancient Regal, there's no Regal, no Yontav in the middle. Man, I have a Regal also, he says, and a Regal, it's also, uh, again, to to shave for a person who, um, a person who was an Avelus, that's Bisha Ancient when he's tricking us, meaning he could have shaved Arab Yontav, but he delayed till now. That's the point. He was in town, not out of town, he's like that. Mutter, you said, uh, uh, they have other mutter says that they have mutter to shave with shein shamarava when there's no trickery. Rav Chibra Aji B'Shem Rav said, "Alok di b'mishu meko kamakam." Alok, like all the matters of Avelus, is like a leniency, and one is allowed to shave on cholamoyd one's mustache and one's nails. Okay. Rishim Bar Bar Abba B'Shem Rishuv Levi said, "Alok di b'mishu di b'mishu di b'mishu meko ve'ilchos ha'evul es kol kulo." Rabbi Mar, Sovan Kazil, Siyatayim Chodavar, take off your mustache, take your nails all together. Or maybe your man said, if I have a note, this is only if you have long hair, which comes down from your beard and obscures your mouth and doesn't allow you to eat. Literally, notos means bent over. Rabbi Yisab, excuse me, Baracham Hashem Rechayim said, Zug Balivne Rabbi. A couple of people came before Rabbi to ask Mashiach. We saw from about mustaches, and removing nails, we tell him Rabbi, Rabbi, for this, and Yantan. Or during their availance, it's not clear which one, but it seems it's Yontem. Rabbi, excuse me, Rabbi Shimon Shem Rechina said, Shnei Zugal Sayu. There are two sets. Achas mi Amson, one of the Sayyid Amson, Vachas mi Yadat. All the Echad Besafam, and one group came up about mustaches to ask Rabbi the question. Bechem Tiel Sayyid Ryan, one came out to ask Rabbi about cut taking of nails. Bechem Rabbi, ready for both activities. Kelda, like this case, from Shulbar Abba, Damchas. Achse, um, um, Rabba, his his sister died. We asked him Matzvei Tifore, and he was sitting drinking Shiva, cutting his nails. So that's not bad. So Rabbi Nelson Rabba got a click see soon. So Rabbi Nelson, so I'm sorry. So Rabbi Nelson got a Nelson came in the envelope see soon. He didn't cover his nails. I'm sure he was pretending he wasn't cutting. So Rabbi Nelson Rabba got a click see soon. When Nas Barabba came, he he concealed his nails to pretend he wasn't cutting them. Adrius Avelus. So it says the Gemara. On my laser, he said Nas Barabba said me kumui. Rabbi Lezer looks like he didn't cover your nails when Rabbi Lezer came in. Me kumui and mechase. Why you cover your nails when I come in? Mechase. On my laser, he said umat savar. What do you think? Then chavi will like Rabbi Lezer. They are precious by me like Rabbi Lezer. Now it's a million to let Rabbi Lezer see that I cut my nails in Yantam because he's not going to infer the wrong thing. 
But you might think I'm a shagan, so therefore you can't see me do it. Elu machnisim mechapsim boy. There's a lot of people who do who do laundry clothes boy. I'm done. Just say I'm saying it comes from chutz laaretz. I'm based on shvi and from captivity. Those are based on so it's time he comes out of cap uh, uh, prison. From anuda, a person chayim should achiyah chetil chacham chacham or matzim him. The chayim is shnisha chacham buhutar. And so do somebody ask a wise man about a net and was bringing all the yontif. He's allowed to do wash on yontif. The net was something to do, obviously, with, with washing clothes, or not wash clothes. Midbuchos ayadayim, the uh, hand towels, or midbuchos the spine, the, the kerchiefs used to wrap, see if it turns, such luck, plus such like, midbuchos as folk, and sponges, v'cholim mitumah letara, anything which can be called from tumah letara, ha'reilu mutarim, they are permitted, I made him say, "Cholim in tumah letara means anybody who goes to the mikveh on cholamoid harayim mutarim they're allowed to do laundry ashar kol adam asur but everybody else is forbidden." Says Matani, we learned balanore noshim. Balanore the noshim are like women's clothing which they wear in the bathhouse. Mutar lechaps of are you allowed to wash them in cholamoid? He balanore noshim. This is true noshim. He balanore noshim. It's true whether it's. Uh, the woman's bath clothes and the man's bath clothes. You have to wash them on a chlomoid. Okay? So it says, Okay. Um, uh, Ba'u ba'u nore noshim. What are ba'u nore of woman? Ba'u ba'u nore antino, antinaya. Whatever it is. So, um, that they're allowed to, to wear. It's kind of like a, like a, um, a shawl or a kerchief or something like that. Um, uh, Right. He only has one garment for Yontif. Mutal lechab samor. He's allowed to wash chlamor. He's allowed what to wear. I'm right. Yes, the Rebbe Brun. Rebbe Yosef Rebbe said of that the chut tray. It has to be at least two. The chol shol chad v'lavish chad. You can put on one when the other is off. Um, is that what it means? No, it means like this. He has to have at least two sets of clothing. In order to be able to change one when the other gets to change it to one when the other gets dirty. So that's what it means. Um Rabbi Yossi Bray Boon said the Khud Tre the Shola Khad Vulavash Khad Um I'm so sure what he wants. You mean at least two sets of clothing or no more than two sets? At least two sets. I guess because of sneeze reasons. In other words, you can't let him take off his clothes and just go wash them because they stay naked in the river. So it's saying that it's, you have to have always at least two change of clothes. That's what it's saying. Saying that effect. Boku Rabbi Yosi, ask for Rabbi Yosi. Ask for Rabbi Yosi. Big day cut in mind. What's the status with the, chul- the, the clothes of children? Can you wash them with cholamoy? It's very much a local Israel even nowadays. Armand says, Kamisha ain't low el cholkechod. Yes, you're allowed to wash children's clothes with cholamoy. It's like they only have one garment. They're big slops. Bokamoy. That's for them. Today we learned, ain't koi below cholte was not allowed to do kriya, nor chalitza, lo marvin, and you cannot bring console the dead. How Krosha Mason accepts the immediate relatives. Have us matlase. Uh, uh, have a lazy era. They, they had a, a small sukkah, a small tent. Kriye bo male kabein, the relatives wanted to, uh, uh, want to come in there? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what. I don't know if it's on. Uh, I assume it's on Sukkot, but I don't know. So I have an Abbas Batali Zira. And somebody's sitting in Avelis in the tent. It was a small tent. So, so Bon Kume. Um, 
Uh, what? Excuse me? Yeah, I think I did too. So I, I, I have a South East here, there's a small tent, a creepy bone meal, and Gabay, and the relatives wanted to come in to console the, 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 the survivor of the Nifter. Mouths and he asked, Mouths asked the Pagan Miga, Pagan Bak, we said, have us inside, have us outside. Armalone, so he said, no. You learn Pluni Yomadain Pluni Lamago, better one today and one tomorrow. One set today and one set tomorrow. Um, the reason for that is, I guess, um, what? This is all online. Yes. So, because you're not supposed to have a field, so too many people come. Looks like Parasia. That's right. Looks like public. So, therefore, put it off in two days. Very good. All right, my mother, my mother said, I might be saying it somewhere, but I don't remember. All right, my mother. The mother said, Hey, Davin, Sarvin, Sarvin, Dum, Kaula, Chamor. Uh, that which we thought that uh, he's lenient by big day Shabbos by I'm sorry, but no, by big day Ketani by the Begarim this is Rabbi Yochanan speaking so, so Rabbi Yochanan was lenient elsewhere um, further up he said um, he washed the children's clothes right so, uh, so he says here uh, he was actually machmir on us because here he says that not everybody can go in at the same time and some of them sit outside etc time we learned the kerchiefs of Svarim was not allowed to wash him with urine even though urine is a good stain remover was allowed to clean him with nesaboris a natron and boric acid they are covered because it's more of a dignified way of cleaning them you're turned into ammonia in there. Excuse me? You're turned into ammonia. Yeah, I guess that's what helps it. Yeah. Not worried about the here at all? Not a chomoid. Because basically, we're not worried about the creative results of Malacha, but just work. So we're worried about Okay, the other question is, these are allowed to wear right on you, Moy. On chomoid. Kiddush Hashem, marriage certificates, getting shavar and receipts, daifke are designating uh, heirs. Matana gifts, Prusbulin, a Prusbul for Shmita, Igro Shum, uh, uh, letters of reckoning the value of one's property. Beatles Muslim letters says any part of one's property to feed somebody who wants to come in upon the feed. Shitre Chalitza, stars which reflect that a Chalitza took place. Really, stars reflect that a girl less than 12 was married by her father or brother, renounces the husband, they contracted for her. The Shitre Bruin, the star which it, which checks the uh, Dayonim. To be my uh, to be my uh, representatives in the court, which are making up Uxera's based in and the Kriz are based in because Torah shows and actual letters. So you have to write all of these in the Chalmoy, right? Says the Gemara there. Says the Gemara, "Ain't no I don't stand out. Can you write a get on Chalmoy? You're sad, right?" All right, Uxera said, "No." You came to us and died the guys once he intended to divorce. Ain't no mates was not upset about it. Right. We survive him. What is survive him? It says in the bottom that they are. They are. Um, uh, like concession that one owes people money. Ego shum. What does that mean? Letters of uh, 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 estimation. Shum is certain reckoning how much you certainly have to pay their estate. To 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 a to a proven property which their their father um, owed money to to an individual their father owed money to. Say the Gemara. She igros mazon mazonos. It's when I promise food to somebody. Amon mazonos amon. I promise food to a widow. She the widow of this family obviously. She the chalitza. Uh, what is Shita Chalitza? Hey, Shita Chalitza, of course, there's no derisive requirement for Shita Chalitza. What is it? So it says, Tamon Omar, Hey, uh, Shita Chalitza, Tamon Omar, there we said, the Karbis Kudil Kudmino, Oh, 
Well, so it says Shem Shtachit. So Tamar Matzes over there. That means this is what she writes to Shtar. The Karvas Kudmina. She came in front of us, this woman. The Shai Sene Me Lovey Reglain. She took the, the the shoe off the guy's foot. The I mean of his right foot. The Rakos Kudmina. She spit in front of us. Rukli Mischazim. We saw the spittle. Ala on the ground. By Mir, so she said, Kochi Yisel Isha Shal Even as Beisachit. It's what should happen to a, to a man who doesn't build his father's house. And that's the Shtar Chalit, so it testifies in the book place. The Shtar Yunim, Shtar repudiating the marriage. Elin Shitra Yunim, Lo Raina Lay, Lo Shavaina Lay. This girl did not, uh, does not, is does not interest in this man, and she's not, uh, it's not valued by her. Lo Tzvi, this is she doesn't want to marry the guy. The Shitra Yunim, which we also write. Rio Mer Kumpru Misen, they're like compacts. An agreement says to have to run a court case. Zebra Lech of a Zebra Lech, each guy one chicks one dying. Uxer is based in Elu Gizre Dayonim. This is the. Uh, so Kabrusin is like, uh, is collecting Dayonim. And what says there is probation, that's the actual decree Dayonim make. Because to Rashus and Hamshul and Zushel and Shalom, that's acquiring after other people's health. All these people think you're out doing homework. I don't know why it's telling it's like a, it's a dictionary. I don't know. Yeah. Any questions you should know where compromise comes from? Ah, compromise, that's a new Greek word. No, it's not like compromise. Compromise, yeah, you're right. I didn't think of that. Die, yeah, it's compromise. It's probably compromise, yeah. that's right. It's really nice. <laughs> okay, look at that. Any questions in another five minutes? She took home away, was now out to write. A bill of loan of Cholamboy. He may not mind if you don't believe the guy that he's going to pay back. Or you yourself have nothing to eat and therefore you need to lend that money in order to make money. I raise the Yichtov and you're allowed to write the Shishtar Cholamboy. Right. Bottom line. Echos explained until Mezuzos was not allowed to write specific terms until Mezuzos on Cholamboy, right? However, I feel the same as I saw even the most exalted book, one which is in the base of Mikdash. I even remember Kreitz who was in the film Zulus Laatzmo. The person could write film Zulus for himself, we'll see what it means in the Gemara for himself. The Taiva Laatzmo, Tchelis, and Tzitzit, so he can weep for himself, Tchelis for his Tzitzit. Says the Gemara, and Kreitz in Chitri Arisus, you don't write documents for sharecroppers, Kablonos, and uh, contractors moed an chol moed. Hashem shem kedarka. Somebody's reckoning value can do it the normal way. But actually, as long as he doesn't measure, he doesn't measure, he doesn't weigh, he doesn't weigh, he doesn't count. Some full count. Um, when the Kabbalists keep boiling and one is allowed to accept contracted work on chol moed, so slach moed to make it after you to do it after you. Very mechanical kibbutz moy the souls be so moy not be done within the chol moy. Has some some kedarko somebody who who who, uh, who can reckons can reckon normal way. Ovach lo yasu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't measure the weight. Ovach lo yamu lo yamu is always he doesn't you said him, ain't no amir love if you don't believe the bar or she ain't no my yocha lava or the sofa has nothing to eat. So Amr Rabbi Yosef said, im oimat kain. That's the case. Nim tzeis matir so umnus b'moid. You're going to allow craft and chamoid. In other words, the limit to what we can be matir, even though we really want to be matir. I can't allow stuff which is classified as a craft. El im ain't no amino. So there, if you don't believe lamalve, and may lamalve lamalve uh I'm not sure exactly how to punctuate this. They made him my mean of Lamilve. Milva Shavra. Yeah. So it means we're allowed to write a star call and write. If you don't believe the guy by a by a past loan, and oh she'ela mayocha lemilva by his nineteenth for the next loan, so then he's allowed to write down his chesh pinus. Chaymanash ovet hilum moada. A person who certain individual lost his loan chamoy. Askari chanos again. Rabbi Chanan of Shalikavi Abba will send it to Rabbi Abba. 
uh, Bar Nason, Amale, and uh, Rabbi Aaron Nason said, uh, uh, I guess Rabbi Aaron Nason said to Rabbi Aaron Nason, Amale, have the Tchilach. No, yeah. Not a word. Yeah. Oh, let me start again for three lines before that. Chaman, I should start the visual of a tefillah move more. They lost his tefillah cholamoy. Ask the rabbi Chanan, can rabbi Chanan have a shalchi grabby? Rabbi Arvanosan send the who send the rabbi Arvanosan who's a sofer. Normally, I have a little tefillah. Uh, uh, so the, so whoever was there, the third party, I guess it was Rabbi Hanan, Rabbi Hanan. He said, "Give him his villain. You, you give him your." He said to the sofa, "You give him your villain, your villain. Vizuk sovlach, write yourself so that's villain." In other words, because he said oh, only. Um, uh, write yourself. Yeah. What? You can't write for somebody else. Yourself. Right, only write yourself. But you can make a loophole to which you can no. drive a truck by giving away your villain and then saying, "Well, I need it for myself, so I'll go write my own villain." Right. It says Amar, Amalei Rav, Amalei Rav, Amalei Rav, Rav said, Izuk Sovle, no, you yourself can go right for him. You don't have to give it over to, you don't have to pull this rules and say, well, I'll give away mine and have to do it for him, but really you're allowed to do, even for the other person during Cholamoy, collect, uh, Uh, collect, uh, they make for him chillin', even though you yourself don't need it. Says the Gemara, it's not a mitzvah of No, it's not a mitzvah of Bavay. The only thing you're now allowed to do, I see the big rap. The Chorah, our Mishra argues that rap, Christ of Lord and fill it to chill and mezuzah, it says you write chill and mezuzah, lat small, only for yourself, for Achir, low, not for anybody else. Paso, Kosa, and Yach. So that's only where he's actually writing, not for the purpose of using Cholamoy at all. But using the purpose of using Cholamoy, then it's okay. And says the Gemara, okay. um, uh, Vitova Yerecho Tchelis Lutitis. You weave on your, uh, on your, uh, your thigh Tchelis Lutitis, which is a shina, because normally you use a machine, a spindle. We the shame, we the shame, we shame, we shame, we shame, we shame, we shame, I don't know who that is, Rabbi Yochan. Toiva Filipel, you may allow to weave without a spindle on Cholamoy. Rabbi Mai, uh, when you're weaving to um, for uh, when you what yeah you're, you're allowed to do it even with a spindle like we said before I really not the same for we say if we have to do a shina they say he's even allowed to a spindle. Rabbi Martov Pelch Ben Lo Ben Lacher. He says you can to do it with an automatic machine, whether it's for yourself or for somebody else. Masiga Pleo Rav doesn't despite sorry Rabbi says the Tova Erechol you can only do it on your thigh. Chil Tzitzis Ol Acher Lo, but not for somebody else. You can't even do it at all. Says Gemara he's plus a little bit Tova Elon. Yeah, that's a case where you need to leave it, but sitting down. Therefore, it's okay. Says my Akobas Mesa, just a couple more lines. Akobas Mesa, good shloshim yom. Did I skip? No. Let me just read the last line here. I'm not sure it turns out correctly. You can only do it on you. It's not for. You know, you can't do it for somebody else. You have to. Then you have to. Then even when you do it for yourself, you have to do it on your thigh. So it's more. No, it's if you're doing it for commercial purposes. For after Yonta, but otherwise, then you have to do a Shina, but otherwise you can do it, uh, uh, then uh, you can have to do a Shina, but otherwise if you're using it right away, you can do it straight up. Hakovis made so Shloshim, you Shloshis Yom Mikonam Arego. Somebody buries his dead, dead relative more than three days before Yonta, but the men who clear a Shiva, he loses Shiva because of Yonta. Shmonas Yom Mikonam Arego, let's see, eight days before Yonta, uh, but the men who clear a Shloshim, he loses Shloshim. In Neshavah, because it said Shabbos, so the Shabbos counts as part of your seven days. Vayin Amav Sekis, it doesn't interrupt. Regarding only, they count as part of your seven days. Vayin, uh, Vayin Amav Sekim. It should be, there's a typo here. Karmay, it says, Regarding only, 
I'm sorry, Megolim Mavsikin Vein Olim. That should be the opposite. Regolim Mavsikin Vein Olim. Regolim stop Yotah, but they don't count as part of Shiva. So actually, it's the opposite of Shabbos. By Shabbos, Shabbos counts part of Shiva, but doesn't stop it. Continues past Shabbos. By Yotif, Yotif stop Shiva or Shloshim, whatever it is, but it's not counted as part of the count for if need be for a purpose of whatever you're trying to reckon. I will stop here for tonight. I'll come back to the Gemara tomorrow night. If you can't weigh or measure because it's too commercial, yes. nowadays we do almost things. We go to a store and we buy things. Right. It's very commercial. Right. I don't know what our halacha is based on. Obviously, we're much more lean to than they intended us to be. It's a good question. I don't know what. I don't know.